We are back at the home base because uh, really there wasn't much to look around at. Uh, if I scroll the map out and go all the way over to where we were, I mean, we were basically at the end or the width more or less of this place. And I decided not to just keep driving out there and not to see was it zero zero. We can save that for another time. It's basically just the same sort of stuff we were seeing. And rather than continuing on to do yet another tier zero, tier one, I know, quest. I thought, why don't we just go ahead and go back to base instead? There are more interesting things we can do there. And if not, I'll just pretend like it, and I'll do my best to sell you on the idea. So here we are. We're upgrading the base just a little bit. Now, I don't know if this is going to be something that we are sticking with long term, but I kind of figured we've had this for a little while now, and we should probably do right by this little building and, uh, you know upgrade it just a touch so that it's not a bunch of ramshackle wooden frames that are not even really nailed together yet. So uh, here you go. We've done all that stuff. And while I am working on this, um, okay. Cat just randomly decided to growl, I think. Not sure. Okay, whatever. Now we'll start working on those hatches because we're going to, we're going to want to place one of those, and the reason we made two is because in this version of the game you have to have the type of door that you're upgrading to when you're placing it, and the reason I made the wooden one is so that I can actually see what I'm doing. I just, I cannot make sense of the, the steel one. I have no idea where the hinge is going to be. It's very obnoxious. Like, this one's going to open... Oh, yeah, guys. Someone is not happy right now. That's going to open away from us, I think. And that may or may end up causing problems with ladders and stuff. I think we can make it work. But just in the interest of doing something silly, because I never, ever do this. I need to see. I need to get a little lower now. Can I, can I see? I think this will work. Okay. I mean, it looks... It looks goofy, but let's go ahead and upgrade that guy. And then now, ha! Ah, look at that. That looks nice now because the metal one, the iron, scrap iron one, guys, you really need to get along. This is, this is obnoxious. They open and close very nicely. They're very uh, svelte, I guess we'll say, because, you know, there's not a bunch of wasted space on them. Not a bunch of, oh, I don't know, uh nails and wood and crap sticking up everywhere. Now, we're not going to be able to place a ladder right there, obviously. Uh, we'll go ahead and just place it on the floor so that it looks nice. And I think it, what we should be able to do here is use the ladder, and we'll get right up to this point where we're standing. And even though we can't walk out, we can just jump out without too much problem if I'm jumping and holding a direction somewhere rather than jumping straight up. So that works for me. That looks nice. I mean, we don't really see it this way. A little bit, obviously, a little bit. I mean, if we'd put it right over here, you'd see less of it, at least from the outside, but I'm okay with that. And just on the inside, it looks better. Well, better than I think having the block right here. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Whatever. Uh, nope, wrong one. Let's grab some food. So I think at this point, I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of like, I, I want to go back on the road and yet I kind of don't. But I do think we probably need to do some cooking and other things. So let's, let's start with that at the very least. Probably need more cooking tables now that I'm thinking about it. I mean, I don't know that it matters all that much. Here, we'll just, we'll go ahead and get started on the water and that's fine. It's fine. It's funny, I'm noticing, and I've noticed this a couple of times, I guess that means I need to move this guy a little bit here. You don't know what I'm talking about, so I'll show you very briefly here, but I just moved my keyboard over just a touch because this is a new keyboard to me and I'm still trying to get used to it. And this one doesn't have different textures on the WASD, the WASD keys. So it's a little weird for me. I'm like not, I'm expecting to feel the, the texture so that I know I'm on the right keys, and yet at the same time, I've done it a couple times now where my fingers have been over just a touch. And I think, I think maybe that's, you know, there's a, some muscle memory there. So let's try and fix that a little bit. We're gonna do 
30 of these guys. We don't need to do tons of them. And we do need to add some more time to this guy, so we'll do that. And we'll put our water back here, and then I think we should be able to make some more food so we can grab... Oh, goodness, we might not actually have a lot of recipes at this point, now that I think about it. Yeah, I mean, a lot of these guys are locked. We haven't really put many points into to food stuff. I don't know. What do we have for skill points? Yeah. That's not great. That's going to be under... It's not under strength, is it? It is. Okay. I mean, we could take another level here. And that would get us some better stuff, but we still don't really have what we need to make those, so... Or to make the, the food that those levels would unlock recipe-wise here. That, that did not come out at all in any sort of coherent manner. So let's add another... That's only five and change now. That's going to be too much. That's fine. I don't mind having extra time on that guy. That kind of works okay for me. Here, we'll take these. I forget. We Have we found the recipe for mineral water yet? Yeah, we have not. Okay. But we can make the other things, which is fine. The goldenrod tea would probably be worth our time because the goldenrod tea, if I'm remembering right, that one has... Stamina regen, which uh, that's always kind of useful. And the other one, the chrysanthemum tea, of course, if I'm remembering correctly, has digestion. We do have a tier two that's nearby. It's funny, I was kind of thinking, I don't want to do any more quests, but yet if we can do a tier two, I actually don't mind doing a tier two. I'm okay with that, I think. We're missing something. What are we missing here? That needs to go there, and then that... What went there? What did I move? Oh, the bone knife. We need to have that back down there. Got it, okay. One of these days we'll make or find a better knife, but for now, yeah, I think I'm okay with the tier two, actually. Oh, look at this. As we're coming into this area, this is some sort of uh, military base, is what this one is. I mean, there's a part of me that's going, this is a tier two. It's not necessarily great, but I know this map. <laughs> map, it's not really a map per se, but you know what I mean. Okay, let's go and reload this guy. I gotta remember that this bow does not reload on its own and there are reasons for that. Okay, let's go ahead and grab all of this stuff. And then we should have a McShovel here. Okay, you guys just keep on floating. Not necessarily inclined to do tons of double looting in this series, but I think this time around, for this particular POI, I'm willing to, to make an exception because this one does have the potential for some good loot. Okay, I just wanted to make sure that we fell off without any problem. Let's we'll grab our Scrap Fire Axe, which is the new weapon of choice after several episodes of chopping at heads and stuff. Cat, are you going to be nice? No chasing your friend. She does not care for it, and I don't either. To be entirely frank with you there, kitty. Uh, we might want to tear that guy apart too, just for the parts. And this is kind of where I'm thinking this might be worth our time. I mean, some of the stuff, it's random what's going to be in there in terms of which specific loot piles will be in there. But some additional... Um, medical stuff. Maybe if we can find some additional honey, some antibiotics, that sort of thing. I'm just kind of feeling like that might not be a bad idea to have. We had some pretty rough early days. It's not like we're going to get any, you know, amazing sort of loot out of this place, so I don't feel terrible about double looting it. Not that I really feel terrible about double looting, it's just, you know, it gets kind of tedious when you see the same thing twice. That's primarily why I try not to do it. It's just, it's not... It's not all that fun from a user standpoint. How you doing, sir? Oh, if you're going to crawl, then I have enough time to get up and get over to the bag. I can't see because there's a cat in my way. I literally, I cannot see half of what's going on. This is not working out well at all. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to blame you. Oh, we don't have anything that'll stop this, do we? Uh, here, let's go ahead and take one of those right now. 
and we'll drink some water. And we have a... Ah, goodness. This did not go according to plan. I'm blaming my cat. She was in the way I couldn't see. Uh, scrap that guy, take that. I mean, I guess we'll take those, but they don't really matter. Before you can crawl, let me hit you while you're standing. And you know what? Um, I'm just feeling annoyed. I'm not going to break down that generator. We'll, we'll go ahead and restart this place. And then I can worry about breaking down that generator, and we'll just do it once. So pretend like we weren't just here. It's pretty cool. We've got a military base. We'll go ahead and get rid of our zombies since this is a clear quest. And I totally missed that shot. And I totally missed that shot. Buddy. I don't want to keep missing shots. We have... We have limited arrows. Quite frankly, limited arrows. There are two zombies in here. That guy got exploded. And the other dude, I think, is... Oh. You managed to extricate yourself from that room. Good for you. Thanks for coming out. Appreciate you. Oh my gosh, the crawlers. It's not the the standing zombies, it's the crawlers. Oh gosh. Gush. It's a feral crawling white. I think I probably should just set fire to this whole place and leave. This just has bad news written all over it. This is instant death, basically. The best part about all this is I was wanting to, to double loot this just for the reason that we now actually need to double loot it. Like, literally. It's amazing. Oh, hi. I forgot. Uh, there might be a thing in the trench. I don't remember. I don't think there is in this one. I'm thinking of an old base, I think. Hi. I'm saying hi to my cat, by the way. Here, let me see if I can turn on her camera. Buddy. Okay. And then here's our feral white friend. Or another one? I'm not sure if you're the same one. I kind of lost track of what's been happening here. I just... This has gone off the rails. Oh my gosh. We're already up to 2.1% of infection. That is bad. I don't remember if this one has anything buried in it. I'm just not going to worry about it. I, I just... Ugh. I'm so... I'm so over this place already. Like, seriously. I'm just over it. How you doing? Yeah, I would much prefer if you stand up. That, that bodes much better for me. Okay. Can I do this? I think he's bleeding now. Not sure. Come on. Death by bleed out. I mean, when you say that, that does sound kind of weird. Like, zombies can die from bleed out. That's kind of a strange thought, isn't it? I've never really thought of it in those terms, but... Zombies can bleed to death. Well, that's kind of weird. I don't know how I feel about that, and I don't know that it matters, but that's kind of a weird thing, I think. Apparently in this game, you can bleed zombies to death. I mean, I know that to be true, because one, we just did it, and two, I have some... <laughs> I have some insane bleed arrows in my mod. I say insane. They're not insane per se, but they are pretty bleedy. So, I don't know. That's just kind of a weird thing. For some reason, that never really occurred to me to think about from the, the standpoint of if a zombie can bleed to death, that seems to imply, I know I didn't need to pick that up, that they need blood to survive. And yet they're undead, so shouldn't that sort of thing not be part of their worries? I don't know. Kind of weird. Come on, antibiotics. All right, well, this was a complete bust. We got ourselves multiple uh, pipe weapons. I, I don't... Here, let me scrap that one. I don't remember. I think we have a five back at the base. And if not, we're just going to head back there anyway. So easy enough to, 
to scrap. Huh, look at that. She dropped some stuff. Thanks for that, ma'am. Just getting rid of the traitor zombies. Because there's, you know, seems like there's always a few. Guys, we're banging on stuff over here, so I feel compelled to repair things. Are you going to behave over there? You're kind of blocking the, the screen again. What do you see? This is the same one that was in, in the way before. Here is your reward. Wow. You we did a tier two and get a quality three AK as a reward. You can't see me shaking my head right now, but I'm shaking my head right now. Like that's just, help me with my that's just I bonkers to me. Uh, we are at the point where we can do some tier three quests now, so I might go run one of those. Again, I, I don't feel... I don't feel as disinclined to do quests if they're moderately interesting. And for me, that more or less means, you know, not tier one. <laughs> I forget if we already have an advanced bellows. I think maybe we can make them anyway. I don't remember... Robotic turret schematic, that's interesting. We do have some robot parts, but we'll just kind of roll with what we have here. I don't I don't know if there was anything I was supposed to sell. I kind of don't. Whatever, it's it's fine. Let's go back to base. We need to grab the food and water and stuff anyway, and we gotta take care of this infection before it gets out of hand. And then we gotta take care of the hand, because, you know, got this uh, deep laceration. Look at that thing. Health lowered by a ton. I mean, we could let it go for the next two hours, but that that seems excessive here. We can afford to burn one of these guys, so that'll take care of the laceration. And then we'll go over to this box, and we've got... That's going to leave seven jars of honey. So that'll take care of our infection, and unfortunately was not here to turn off the thing. Although, apparently... There's still five seconds on it. I'm not sure how that happened. And then let's see, what do we got here for shotguns? We do have a quality four, so go ahead and take that guy, modify. We'll take this off of there. And I don't know why I specifically decided to not destroy this one, because I think we already, at this point, have seen a quality five type shotgun and just let it go. I don't honestly remember, but I think we have. Let's grab 150 of these guys because we should have some ammunition on hand. We didn't really roll with much that time around, but, you know, it was fine. I forget. I think we already have one of those guys in place. I think what we need to do, though, is we do need to take just a pause here to look at some of our mods, and we'll, we'll take care of that in just a moment. Put away most of this stuff. All right, you're looking good. Put away all this stuff here. Let's go ahead and eat one of these right now. And then we'll eat one more of these guys. And then we can drop all that stuff. Okay, perfect. I want to see where we are with all of our clothing and armor and things, because... You know, that just seems like... We have some upgrades just kicking around. Now, I don't think that... Some of these are going to work with what we have available, but some of them will. So I just wanted to try and grab some of these different guys to see if we can make something work. And plus, I remember mentioning that I was looking forward to putting the filter into the helmet, in this case, a padded hood, just on the off chance. Actually, you know what? Let's put that armor mod in there too. To me, it makes a lot of sense to have armor up at your head because, you know, crap's gonna hurt otherwise. Let's modify this guy, and I'm kind of inclined to take that arrow... <laughs> arrow. Take that arrow mod off. Fucking mod. And let's put the bandolier on there. Oh no, that's right, the bandolier and the quiver are designed to be the same thing, so you can't have more than one. Uh, I need to do that. Oh, crap, now I think I need to take that off, and then put it back on, because I took things off and put them on. Well then, if that's the case... Uh, we can put those guys in there, so that's going to make that a little quieter. And then we don't have any leg armor. I'm just wondering here, can we make... Wrong one. 
I hear you. Can we make some padded leg armor? We cloth fragments and duct tape. So we need to grab some... Oh, we don't have much duct tape. That's interesting. Well, there's our duct tape. Do we have any cloth fragments? I mean... There we go. I was going to say, I know we have to have some, right? For whatever reason, I just couldn't see them in the moment. Here, let's craft that. Do we have a bunch of glue by chance? Here, while we have this stuff open, let's go ahead and make some duct tape. We'll make uh, five of those, and that should be sufficient for our purposes right now. Now, this guy, I think we can put the bandolier on leg armor, and that'll give us a little bit faster reload on our firearms. And then everything else is pretty much we cannot use with the exception of the cooling mesh mod, which we will throw on that guy. And I am feeling a little better about some of these things. Like, no joke, I really truly am. Those are good little upgrades. I mean, maybe they're not the greatest thing in the world, but I'm okay with that. I forget, uh, do these guys, these guys don't come with ammunition in them, do they? Only in the old version. <laughs> that was the thing that I was doing in Alpha 16. I just kept opening up guns or things that we've ar already found them before because they came with extra ammunition. I think the last thing I want to do is to grab a couple of these guys and just go ahead and repair you. And I don't think we need repair kits for some of these other items here, but we do for again, some of the other other items. And then I want to take a look here. We'll go ahead and just take that guy and we'll... We will repair that one as well. And then I think with this guy we can repair with... Cloth, right? Yeah, we just need cloth for that. So maybe we'll take off that guy, grab... Grab the cloth and then here we'll just... Repair and repair. If anyone says that there are no quality of life improvements in this game... You're wrong, because the game just automatically put that armor back on by itself. That was so obnoxious in Alpha 16. So was crafting and or, uh, repairing an item just generally and having it not go back to the same slot it was in. Holy moly, I mean, just doing this, it would be now in a different slot. So uh, this game is not the exact same as it used to be. Right now, we're going to call this one good. We will pick up on the next one as we go maybe do a Tier 3, maybe do something else. All I know is I have a cat about to goose another cat, and that never bodes well for me when the cat that's getting goosed is in my lap. Catch you on another one, Dylan. Thanks for watching. See you later.